Hi, I'm Eric from Rocky Mountain, ATVMC.com, and today we're giving our first impression of KTM's 1090 Adventure R. We're very excited about this bike. So KTM Austria listened to KTM USA uh, they actually hired Quinn Cody to give them some feedback. Uh, the, the type of riding we have here in the U.S. is a little different than they're experiencing over in Europe. And so Quinn was able to give the feedback saying, you know, we need this thing to be stiffer, so better suspension, a little lighter, and more off-road capable. Um, from what we're hearing, that's exactly what we've got. But let's go out on the trail. We'll hit some pavement, we'll hit some big dirt roads, we'll hit some tight trails, and we'll find out how it all pans out. Let's see how this thing really performs. You know, first thing on the pavement, you know, of course, with adventure bikes, you've always got to do a little pavement. And uh, I'm pretty impressed. You know, on the twisties, this thing feels great. It's got plenty of power, plenty of torque. The pickup is nice and smooth. The braking's nice and smooth. It's got different drive modes. So there's uh, right now I am in the street mode. I've got my street ABS on. Uh, one of the things that KTM did is they took away some of the electronics when it's compared to the 1190. So you don't have the cornering ABS is pretty much it. And to be honest, I, I think that's great. I'm just getting off a Africa Twin DCT and I could go for a little less electronics. But uh, different drive modes, so you've got sport, street, rain, and off-road. And then you've got your ABS off or on, and you've also got your traction control off or on. So plenty, there's still plenty of electronics to, to make this thing you know, run like you want it to run and act like you want it to act. So, you know, the big question for me is how does this thing feel off-road? So, let's go find out right here. A little tight for this size of bike. <laughs> oh yeah, feels great. A little water crossing, awesome. It feels like a little dirt bike. Nice and smooth. All right, a huge dirt bike. But still very maneuverable. All right, let's make a little change here. Okay, so you do have to be stopped to change the ABS. But the drive modes, you can change those just by closing the throttle when you're driving. Let's see here, so traction control, we're gonna shut that off. ABS, we're actually gonna go to off-road. ABS, so there we go. All right, so we've got traction control off, ABS and off-road mode. And that's pretty cool because, so off-road ABS, you still have ABS on your front, but your back tire, you can slide it around. So if you need to slide around a corner or you want to get the back end out, works awesome. But you know, what's funny is this is a huge bike for this little single track and it feels really good. You know, typical KTM fashion, the it feels really good standing up. You know, it wants you up over the front end a bit. Ah, oh, suspension is so good. So soaking up all the little junk. Fills up in the stroke. Doesn't feel all wallowy. 
but yet it's also not bottoming out for no reason. You know, when Quinn Cody was doing his, his feedback on testing for the U.S. market, you know, one of the things he wanted was that stiffer suspension. And uh, so the fork springs went up a full rate. They also changed the valving, so the front is stiffer overall. And the back, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The back, they actually did a true PDS suspension. So they're saying that, you know, it's not gonna bottom as easily. It's a progressive dampening system. I rode a bunch of little KTMs with the PDS on it, and I know they know what they're doing, you know, of course, and so, I see no reason why they can't make it work for this. And so far, there's just none of that. I mean, it's not wallowy at all. It feels great. And uh, that's actually what I'm after. Staying up in the stroke, having the suspension able to react, stiff enough springs to make that happen. There's that ABS kicking in. Very nice. Uh, that off-road mode's doing a good job keeping things uh, nice and controlled. It's actually a little pedestrian, maybe, down low. You know, it's gonna be interesting to see when you get all your camping gear on there, you know, what that feels like because, you know, sometimes you add quite a bit in camping gear. Oh, beautiful. Brakes are nice and strong. Handling's nice and crisp. Just feels like I can put this where I want it. It's not riding me, I'm actually in control. And that, that is what I like on these huge things. So far, feels great. All right, let's talk about this uh, drive mode a little bit. We're on nice big wide dirt road, pretty common to what you're gonna be experiencing with these kind of a bike, this kind of a bike. And right now I'm in the off-road mode with the traction control off so I can feel how the bike's reacting. And to be honest, it's, it's, it's good, it's controllable but it's just not, it's not the response that I guess I'm looking for sometimes. I, I probably lean towards the more aggressive side of the scale. And uh, I mean, granted, I'm in, I'm in third gear rolling on. So you can change the drive modes on the fly. So I'm gonna say set, I go up to street. Close the throttle, there we go. So now we're good. Now we got a whole nother map in there. Yeah, right off the bat, takes off. As soon as you twist the throttle, the bike jumps out from underneath you a little bit. I like this one. So let's sum this up. So got this awesome bike. Uh, I can't wait to spend more time on it. You know, I'm pretty excited I get to get to ride it for a while this year. So on road, it does great. It's a, you know, it's a big KTM. It's got all the power it needs to lope down the highway with all your camping gear on it or even a passenger and comfortably you know you're not going to be you're not going to be tired before you even get to where you're going and then the part that i'm excited about is the off-road part and i anytime that the, these these uh, manufacturers come out with a bike that's more tuned for off-road i love it i mean that's that's right up my alley and so 
We're gonna get this thing outfitted. We're gonna change some things. You know, I, I've already got a list of things in my mind that this bike could use just after riding it a little bit today. And uh, we're gonna get rolling on that. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned uh, for bike builds coming up and some of our adventures on this thing. We'll catch you next time.